Today is October 18th, the feast of St. Luke the Evangelist. Early Christian tradition tells us that Luke was a Greek physician living in Antioch who became a disciple of Paul. He is mentioned in three of Paul's letters as being his faithful companion and once called the beloved physician. He himself is the author of two books of the New Testament, the Gospel which bears his name, and the Acts of the Apostles. Luke is the only Gentile author of Holy Scripture. In his Gospel, Luke clearly states that his narrative of Jesus' life is based on meticulous historical research and eyewitness interviews. In the Acts, on the other hand, in many cases Luke gives his own first-person account as he was present for some of the action. Paul explicitly states that only Luke was with him as the end of his life drew near in Rome. Luke's effort to provide an accurate history shows in both of his volumes. He provides geographical references, is careful to correctly identify Roman officials, and seems to grasp the inner workings of the Roman bureaucracy. That he interviewed eyewitnesses is also demonstrated by the fact that in Luke's writings there are often found personal and intimate details not described elsewhere. The infancy narrative, for instance, seems to support the tradition that Luke spent time interviewing Jesus' mother. Tradition adds some details to Luke's life and career. Christians have long believed that in addition to being a physician, St. Luke was also an artist and supplemented his writings with illustrations, images regarded as the first icons. Tradition also tells us that after the death of Paul, Luke set out on his own missionary journeys and that he died a martyr's death, hung in an olive tree at the age of 84 in Greece. Let us pray. Almighty God, who inspired your servant Luke the physician to set forth in the gospel the love and healing power of your Son, graciously continue in your church this love and power to heal, to the praise and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you.